I'm Jack Conwell, well known as the Unknown Pilot RC, and that's also the YouTube website, along with Kenny Johnson. Uh, his uh, YouTube site is Altitude Limits. So we work on different projects uh, together, and we kind of go back and forth. We do things for RC plane as well as race cars. Uh, we've been doing this for like 30 years, so... Uh, subscribe to our channel. One of the reasons is was we designed last year two different hydraulic gear set systems. They only weigh like 14 ounces. They take place of your air system. We came up with a brake hydraulic system which works really good off. It's all self-contained. Works really good. This year we put a starter on a GT80 and we also came up with a servo mount which we use on quite a few of our planes and uh, one of the things that uh, Kenny's been working on, which looks really good, if you have a rear-mounted carburetor, uh, he has came up with an idea that you mount the servos right on your carburetor. And you can test everything out, hook your linkage up, and then install it in your airplane. It's all one slick little system that works really cool, so that's coming up also. But going back to this uh, setup we got right here, we've got six planes that uses this setup. This is the only one, a GT80 with the mag kill on it. And uh, so we're going to talk about it. It just takes one switch to turn everything off. So it's really simple. I want to point out that the uh, over here we see an R6014FS which will not work with this system because it only puts out 2.7 volts on the signal which isn't enough to run the RXL ignition module or the starter module so keep that in mind and on your other receivers you need to make sure and put your endpoints up to 135 140 going each way to uh, get them to work so on our mag kill, it's 12 volts. If you use an ignition, which is 12 volts, you can tie it down here instead of the mag kill. Everything runs off your starter pack, which your starter pack only gets used for like four or five seconds on the start. So and your ignition doesn't really use that much. So you just will use that battery if you can. If not, you can run it back to your receiver and pull off 6.6 .6 volts from another battery if you want to. So we're going to turn the radio on, follow the rules, radio on first, and we're going to turn this on. So you see just a little bit of flash. Our switch is it on or is it off, on, on. And so we're going to turn it on. This represents the starter motor over here, this light. You're going to see the LEDs talk to you here just a little bit. So we're going to turn it on. You see our ignition's on, our starter's on, and it goes off after four or five seconds. So when starting your plane, turn your choke on. Whatever you think you might need, hit your starter switch, and just take your finger and move it back to the slider that runs your choke. Now if it doesn't start up, just turn it back off and cycle it again. And you'll find out that that starter switch is really cool. Works pretty simple. This is the way we've been doing Just one switch. You know, you got enough stuff to think about when you're flying. So keep things simple as far as that goes. Now one of the safety features is, is let's say our radio is on and we shut the airplane off. Our radio is still on. We're still in start mode now and our ignition comes on as you can see but the starter did not so to get it out of that mode we just simply turn it off cycle it back on again hopefully your motor starts and you're ready to go so pretty cool now the next thing we're going to run a little safety test on is we're going to shut the transmitter off the transmitter is still in the on mode okay now we're going to turn the airplane on. You know, we didn't follow the rules. Transmitter's on first again. But that little module, then again, it knows something is not 
quite cool, okay? And turn the transmitter on. This is going to come on again, but this is not. Now that's not 100%, so you still want to make sure that, you know, where you're around the airplane or have a hold of it or whatever you want to do, but just simply turn it back off, back on again. And then get into start mode and hopefully it starts up. So this is the way we've been doing it, and it seems to work exceptionally well. So, uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you do use an ignition module, make sure that it is 12 volts or get your voltage hooked up right to it. Uh, if you are using a mag, you want a mag kill, make sure it is normally closed so if you lose voltage to it, it will kill your motor. Uh, they do make these, another company does, but we use the RXL on all of our planes, so it's just something that's pretty common to us. Just a simple relay, we mount it on the firewall to keep any funny stuff from getting back into the airplane at all. So, hope you enjoyed this video and have a good day. Bye.